is your very first time here my name is Maya and today y'all we are doing our spring capsule wardrobe I try to do one of these every season to give you a clean simple and elevated formula so that you always got something to wear for the season real quick before we get into it if you are unfamiliar with a capsule wardrobe it pretty much is a minimal amount of clothing pieces that you can mix and match for any given season so that you always have something to wear this is for my ladies who's always looking for something to wear in the morning and you can't find nothing but you also want to look elevated you want to look pulled together and sophisticated without having to think about it too much my capsule wardrobes in general are usually very very neutral and there's multiple reasons for that number one most neutrals can be paired together seamlessly so you have more outfit choices and formulas the second reason is it doesn't take that much effort for neutrals to come off sophisticated and elevated and put together whereas it might take a little bit more effort with colors and lastly when you're wearing neutrals it's really hard to tell if you're re-wearing something. Usually when you have a color, it's easy to see that you're wearing the same thing twice in one week. And those of us who care about that, neutrals is your way to go. However, I am gonna mention a slight pop of color for this wardrobe, so stay tuned for that. So our wardrobe today consists of four tops, one dress, five bottom options, and four jackets slash cardigans. We also have three pairs of shoes and two bags and a belt, which brings us to 20 items in total. Now that we have the basic handle, let's hop into this wardrobe, girl. Okay, so number one thing that you need in your capsule wardrobe is a plain white tee. I feel like a plain white tee is perfect for spring. Not only because it's white, it's a brighter color, but it also can be dressed up and dressed down. This wardrobe in particular is all about elevated casual. So we're choosing pieces that are versatile, but also read very put together. We got some dressed up outfits. We have some casual outfits and some very workwear type outfits. This t-shirt in particular is from H&M. I do have it in a size large, but it is a must, must, must have for your capsule wardrobe. Next, we need a tank top of any color. Now, I say any color, but preferably a neutral color because this will be a staple to layer and to wear alone during the spring, depending on what your weather is looking like in your city. You always wanna have a tank top to layer. I would recommend picking out a black or neutral color. You already got white covered with your t-shirt. Definitely try not to have the same color in the same category. That way you have more variety in your wardrobe formulas. In this one I am going to add, you can choose a pop of color. When you're going for your tank top or your basic top for spring, it's really whatever color you want. The only thing I will add, like I said at the beginning, is it's a lot easier to see <laughs> that you repeated this. But obviously we have more in our closet than just our capsule. So one day if you feel a little spicy and you have your outfit formula from your capsule, just swap out your natural tank for a colored tank. And now you got your pop of color. On this one you can see kind of the same outfits, but I swapped out for the colored shirt and it just gives a little pop, makes it feel like spring, bright and airy vibes. But you already start off with an easy formula with your capsule and then you're just popping in the color. And everything else in the formula is already neutral, so you know it's gonna match with the color. Next thing in our capsule is a striped sweater. Now, this is very specific to my style in general. Something about like a navy blue stripe or a stripe pattern in general, to me, just screams pull together sophisticated vibes. And for you personally, it doesn't have to be striped. It could be some kind of pattern. It's just something that is neutral enough to be paired with a lot of things, but also adds a little interest to your wardrobe. But when you're going for like a sweater, long sleeve, or anything like that, pay attention to the silhouette. That's what's going to bring the outfit up a notch. I would steer away from looser sweaters, ones that's a little frumpy. Do something that caters to your body type and that has some kind of shape to it. Like I love how this sweater is tapered at the bottom and has a gold detail. It also is kind of tapered here in the waist. Small details like that can really add to the outfit and take it from looking more casual and just I threw this on to, oh, sis thought about that. She looking good. The last top in our capsule is a white button down. This is a must have. 
because you can wear it at the top, you can wear it as a jacket, you can layer it, you can tie it up. There's so many different things that you can do with a white button down. For a button down, I think the material really matters. So I would go for a linen blend or a linen because it just reads a little bit more sophisticated and expensive and it's such a classic. It will never go out of style. You're going to get a lot of wear out of this regardless of what your style is. Next, we have one dress. I would recommend doing a dress that is very neutral. So maybe like a brown, a taupe, or maybe even a white. It's up to you if you wanna do more of a casual cotton finish type of dress, a linen dress, or if you wanna do something that's like more silk. It really depends on your style and how you want to represent yourself to the world because each one will give a completely different vibe, but you want one neutral enough that you can, you know, layer it with other things as well as just get creative with it so that you get a lot of use out of your dress. That's it for the shirts. Let's talk bottoms. First things first, baby. We're gonna keep it real casual with our jeans. If we're going for more trends or we're going for more tailored to a more elevated look, I would go for white leg or straight leg jeans. And jeans, we all know, can be dressed up, they can be dressed down, and they're pretty much considered a neutral. Even though they're blue, denim is a neutral, baby. It gives an effortless model look, depending on how you style jeans. If you watch my vlogs and my little get ready with me's in my vlogs, y'all see, I've been wearing, I've been wearing my jeans all the time. <laughs> Lately, and that's really different for me, but I feel like it's a really good addition to a more elevated casual wardrobe, which is what I go for. Next, we need a silk skirt. Now, if you watch these videos from me often, you know I typically always have a silk skirt in my wardrobe, whether it's for fall, for spring, or for summer. I love a good silk skirt. Though a silk skirt reads on the rack, very dressy, we can dress it down. Depending on what you pair it with and how you style it, it can give, I'm running to Target, and it can give, I'm going to dinner with my man, and anything in between. It makes you look very sophisticated just because of the material and the style of the skirt. Next, we need trousers. I am a stickler for doing trousers over like a sweatpants or a leggings, just because of the sophistication that it adds to your outfit. These wide leg trousers are from Shein, from their MOTF line. I love these. Since these are from Shein, it's obvious that you can get these at a very affordable price point, or you can splurge and get a quality pair that you know you're gonna get a lot of wear out of. I love to wear trousers over leggings, even over jeans, because it adds sophistication where it wouldn't be before had you chosen leggings or jeans. I wear these all the time. Like all the time. If you watch my vlogs, girl, you've seen me in this probably almost every week because this is my throw on pants with a top head to the store run errands vibe. Next, you need a neutral trouser. I have two pair, this one and the ones that I'm wearing right now. These pants are both from Aritzia, so it's a very high quality pant that will last you a nice amount of time, but I do have some more affordable ones down in the description box. But having a neutral trouser does the same thing as a black trouser, it's just a different color. You're able to get more outfits mixing and matching, and like I said, that trouser really adds that elevated look. So a neutral trouser is a must have for your capsule. Our last bottom are black shorts. Now. You can switch out the color of the shorts, but I personally would like to do a black short, especially if the shorts are gonna be short, short. Black conceals more, and I'm working on dressing a little bit more modest, so I like that when you have on a black short and it's a little looser like these are, you're able to cover up a little bit more and feel a little bit more secure and not showing. I love them because they are flowy, they're a linen type of material, which reads very sophisticated. Very, very versatile piece to have in your capsule, especially since it's spring and you have some days that it is a little bit warmer. It is your perfect go-to for the warmer days. Lastly, let's get into our jackets. First things first is a cardigan. This one is from Aritzia. If you can't tell, that is my favorite store for my personal style. <laughs> 
I love that this cardigan in particular can give us an option when it's cooler outside, but it also has a shape to it, which I think is better than just having just a regular one. It adds more fashion to it. It adds a little bit more, you know, just a little sprinkle of something extra. Just thinking about those details can really bring the outfit up a notch. Many different ways that we can wear this as well as dressing it up or making it casual. And I think this is a really good staple for your wardrobe. Next, we need an oversized blazer. It is a must. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Argue with someone else. An oversized blazer, baby, can do so much for an outfit. Now, this is a style particular thing. So if this is not your style, maybe a fitted blazer, but a blazer in general can really elevate an outfit. Something about the fact that it is oversized just makes you look like a fashion girly. And we love that for us. <laughs> Next, we have jackets. So number one, we have a black jacket and I have two different options here. They are both cropped. One is just a regular type of jacket. This one is from Aritzia. And then we have a tweed crop jacket and this one is from Zara. Springtime, there's some wind, there's some rain. You always have to expect some kind of deviation in the weather. So we wanna have jackets on deck that match the capsule. But this is a great addition to layer your outfits and to be covered on those colder days. Lastly, in our jackets, we have the same thing in an off-white color. Now for this one, I have a tweed looking type jacket. This one is from Zara and I have a cropped blazer and this one is also from Zara. My favorite jacket is this cropped blazer. Girl, I wear this all the time, all the time because I love how the blazer just adds to my outfits. The details and the shapes and the buttons of a particular piece is so important when you are trying to look elevated or level up your wardrobe. Imagine if this was just a loose pullover type of jacket that has no shape. Like you're gonna get a completely different look versus if you chose a cropped blazer with some shape to it and some more fashionable details. It just, chef's kiss baby, chef's kiss. Now let's talk about our shoes. First, we need some neutral slides. These are my Hermes slides, y'all. They've been through a lot. They've been through a lot. So leave them alone. But I would keep it in a neutral color because it's super easy to just throw on and match with absolutely anything. It's springtime. We have days where it's in the 70s and 80s. You need to have a neutral slide. Next, we have our black heel, baby. It's a must have. These in particular are from Steve Madden. I've been wearing these a lot lately, but in this video, I did actually wear a different black heel only because they're easier to put on. And when I'm putting on all these outfits back to back to back, I can't be worried about these straps. <laughs> but this is the kind that I actually would choose. A really nice strappy black sandal, girl. Perfect for nights out. Black strappy sandal, that's all you need. Lastly, we have our go-to tennis shoes. These ones are from Zara and they are a dupe of the Adidas ones, but they're super comfortable and they're very neutral. I would say go for a neutral tennis shoe, preferably like a white or if you want, you can do like a light tan or light cream, but I would go for like a white because it can match with absolutely everything in your closet. Next, let's just hit on our accessories because you guys have seen it all throughout the video. You wanna make sure you have a structured, structured is the key word, black crossbody bag. This one is from Coach, it is a Tabby 26. It is so cute, but it does add a level of sophistication to my outfits. It gives off more of a sophisticated vibe versus if I would wear like a camera bag or something more casual. Just the style of your bag can change the whole vibe of the outfit. Next, we also need a neutral bag as well. I chose this one, which is from Zara. It gives off casual vibes because it's one of those like cargo bags with the wider strap. So depending on your style in particular, you could go for something like this or a neutral color that kind of looks more like the coach bag all up to you, but having a neutral bag as well as a black bag is a must. Also, I would go for bags where you can remove the handles because then you can wear them, you know, as top handles or even as clutches underneath the arm. And that way you have variety. 
We also have a belt that you guys have been seeing throughout the video. So we wanna have a belt in our wardrobe as well because just adding a belt for me can change the vibe of an outfit. Like All right, sis, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this capsule wardrobe. Let me know what you think in the comment section and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, girl.